Okay. And up next, let's discuss special prop in React called children, which provides access to everything we render between component tags. As a side note, the goal of this video is just to showcase the general concept of children prop. Since honestly, at least during the course, we'll only use it when we need to set up context API. So if by the end of the video, you're still iffy on some stuff, or just don't see a bunch of use cases for children prop, it's totally okay. We'll return to this concept when we cover context API. And essentially, let's imagine this scenario. What if for some reason, I want to render a paragraph and a button in one of the components? It doesn't really matter which one, just one of them. Well, you can say we can go to a book component. Let's add some dummy text. And let's also add a button. And let's just say, click me, let's save. And everything is awesome. But of course, since we're adding it to the component, all the instances get the paragraph as well as the button. So what's the solution? Well, we could render it in between the tags, we just need to pick the component. So in my case, I'm going to go with the second one, or I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm working with the first one, I'm telling you the second one. So I want to do that with the first one. But again, it doesn't really matter which one, we just want to create a opening and closing tag. Then and as I know, this is the incorrect syntax, we want to do it this way, and then place the paragraph and the button in between those tags. So let's get it out here. And let's set it up. And the moment I save, I actually don't see them in any of the components. So what's up with that? Well, you see, if we want to render something that is between the component tags, we need to use a special prop. And the name is children. Now, before we access the children, let me just make something really clear. Since we're already destructuring in the component, since we're accessing the object, we'll need to provide the prop over here. Now, if you still have this setup where you have props, you can log it and you'll see the children. And that's why I will switch to this one, to the second approach, just so you can see that one component has the props and the other one doesn't. Again, you can use either of these approaches. Just remember that children is going to be over here if you're destructuring right away in the parameters. So let me just showcase that. So we go here with children prop, and the name must be exact. So don't type here children like this. Don't say children's or whatever. No, it has to be children's. So this is an extremely important point. It's a special prop provided by react. So we cannot use whatever name we like, we have to use children. And if we want to render the children, we simply go with the curlies, and then access the prop. Let's save it. And now you'll notice that the first one has the paragraph as well as the button. Now we can move this up and down as we like. So let's say if I want to place it on top, just render children first. Again, there's really no rule for it really depends on your setup. And now let me refactor it just so we can see basically a props. And that way I can showcase the children. So let me cut this one out. I'll say here const copy and paste. Let's set it equal to props. Props over here and let's log it. So let's go over here with log and let's say props. And once I open up the developer tools and console, notice over here. So I have two objects, but the first one actually has this children. So notice special prop. Uh, and essentially, we just need to set it up in our JSX. Now the second one doesn't have that children prop. So as a result, it doesn't render anything. Let me just showcase how it's going to look like on a big screen. So basically, we have these two cards. And optionally, if you want to set up your cards in a way that they're not stretching, we just need to add a little bit of CSS logic. So 
let's navigate to index.css. We have book heading four. Again, I'm not going to keep that paragraph and a button, but just in case you want to keep it for your reference, we can add here margin one REM zero and 0 0.5. So that's for the paragraph. And then if you want all your cards to basically start at one point and just end where the content ends, you can go here with align items and start. And essentially, or at least it should work, not the line self, sorry, align and items and then start. And once you save notice, so essentially your cards are just going to be spanning as much as the content instead of stretching. So by default, when it comes to CSS grid, it stretches all the items. So if this one has a bunch of content, then this one will also stretch. Like I said, in my case, I'm not going to keep it. If you ever need a reference, you can always find it in the readme. So I'll leave, I guess, the props in such a way that I'll remove the children. I'll move children over here. Uh, I'll keep the log because pretty often we use it. And now let me remove the paragraph as well as the button. So that's the general concept behind children, which again, essentially allows us to access everything we are rendering between the component tags.